Hello from SheNature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today we're doing another shooting video to see how you can shoot pellet with this Coke SAA Single Action Army CO2 revolver. This is supposed to be a BB gun, but what I found is that it's best to use this gun with pellets. And then everyone was like, hey, you cannot do it. It's not going to shoot. Um, if you plug pellets in here, it's not going to fire. Whatever, okay? The only thing you need to do to get a fire is to have something to poke the pellet in uh, to get it over this rubber seal. When it's over the rubber seal, it will shoot fine. And what's more amazing is that in my other video, you can see this is the grouping of using RWS uh, R10 pellets at 15 feet or 16 feet. This is as, no, not this one, sorry. That's BB, okay. This is at 17 feet. So all the groupings are very, very tight right here. Except one fly, that's my fault. But anyway, you can see that the, the grouping is really tight with pellet. So I figured that it's kind of fun to experiment with cheaper pellets instead of the RWS um, R10, which is very, very pricey. Okay, so what kind of pellets are we going to use today? Let's... Uh, Get the cheapest pellet on the market so far. Crossman Premier, this is 7.9 grains dome shaped pellet. It comes in a box of 1,250 rounds. So I want to take these pellets and shove them into the shells like that, okay? And I find that loading pellets into the shells is actually easier than loading BBs because it's always easier to handle pellets than handle BBs. BBs are kind of small and they don't have, you know, the pellets are long, right? So you have, you can, you can use your finger to grab them better. But the BBs are really a bitch to handle. So you need to use this, okay? Right now you see the pellets are sticking out like the BBs. You need to use this to poke it in so that it passed that rubber seal. If not, it's not going to fire and it's going to be stuck there. See, right now it just passed that seal. Okay, so now um, our gun here is loaded with one fresh CO2 that just did six shot for the previous how to use this gun with pellet video, okay? So this is our second, um, whatever you call it, magazine. <laughs> Whatever, second round, okay? So this is from 7 to 12 rounds of the same CO2. Okay, so we just load up the six rounds here like a boss. And let's get to the range and we'll do some shooting with uh, the both eyes. Okay, everyone, we're standing at um, the 17 feet range and I specially lighted up the place for better view. So let's get going. Crossman Premier 7.9 grains pellet. Firing at 17 feet, my gun is rested on a chair and that's it. It's kind of wobbly too, anyway. So let's get going. Second shot. And that seems like a nice shot. Okay, I think we did six shot. Right. Okay, so we're done. Let's check it out. Wow! Pretty amazing grouping given that you get one, two, three, four, four shots in here, one and one here. Wow! Super grouping! Holy shit! This is very cheap pellet too. Okay guys, speechless. This is my first day handling this gun and I'm very very bad shooter with this kind of sight. I cannot really see it clearly, but I can still do this at 17 feet. You see, I I did a four uh, shot tap 
all very close together. One, two, three, four. You can see clearly the four shots right here. It's very clear. And then these two, I can say that's my fault because I was, wasn't like really handling the gun well, so it's my fault. But if you do well, you can basically punch all the shots in here. Look, this is the grouping, four shots. Wow, compared to, um, this is the seven grain, seven grain pellets. So the heavier 7.9 grain pellets will do better, even better. Whoa, look at that. And then you can see the back. Very, very tight groupings. So, as I shoot more with the uh, Colt SAA, I would have to say that this is really impressive. As a target, a target gun, not a crinkling shooter, okay? A target um, cowboy style revolver. It is extremely accurate. It's not that you you um, have to treat it like a target gun or whatever, but it is accurate. It, it outperformed my expectation and I have to say that like with the shells and, and stuff like that, it's really cool. So um, I would have to give it a 10 out of 10 plus 2 points for bonus because of the potential that you can use the gun as a pellet shooter, not only a BB shooter. And we tried that in our test, um, 7 grain pellets even the expensive and nice one will not do as well as the 7.9 grains. That means if you use a heavier pellet, maybe 8 grains or so, it, it will do very well with the uh, with this gun and the grouping is very nice. So after shooting it, I try to look into this tube here to spot for any damage or whatever and there's none. So it's still very shiny inside. Maybe if you take a Q-tip and go like that, it will show a little bit of gray stuff but that's fine that's the uh, lead there so it, it's totally fine I would say that for me this gun is totally a purely pellet, pure pellet shooter if you can do this why do you even bother use to use BB now some people were saying but you know pellet you cannot punch through the soup cans you cannot punch uh, like you know you cannot hit the soup cans like how you do with steel BBs that's true because with, um, with, with pellets, you, you can, the pellets are softer and it's harder to punch through cans. This is what you can do with BBs, okay? I'm going to do one shot right now to let you see. Okay, this is done with BBs uh, and, and the normal shells, okay? So you can punch through it nice and, nice and hard. Okay, now let me do one with pellets and show you what you need to do with pellets to shoot through these things, okay? Now this is this is RWS uh, R10 pellets, match grade watt cutter. Okay, it's not going to punch through these cans. I'm going to put one in, and you can see it happen. Okay, so first of all, we need to seat this pellet in, like that. Okay, poke it in. Okay, I'm just going to load this one in, and then put one of those uh, disc there, or whatever you call that. Okay. Load it up. Okay, so it, this gun now have only one shot there, okay? Okay. Come on. Okay, now the gun is cocked. I'm going to put one of those soup can base there and aim at it. Okay. So there goes one soup can base, as you can see. And there's also a label right here. Okay, you can see it. Okay, I'm going to put it inside a trap and shoot it. And I'm just going to stand here, right, close up. Uh, that This is about four, 14, uh, 14 feet or about that. Okay. It's so hard to aim. Okay. Okay, I did it. So that's what happened. With pellets, only a very light dent. Okay, you see? Very light dent. This is watt cutter. Okay, I'm going to try and hit the same thing again with a proper pellet. Okay, now I'm going to put that there. Nice shot, by the way, right in the center. Now, if you want to penetrate these things, you do not use the same kind of pellet you use for target. The reason why we have pellets is because we have a lot of different types of pellets. And... One of these, hyper velocity, whatever, they, these pellets are nice for shooting cans. You have a nice T 
tip here that is hard and they are harder, more more pointy, and these are what you use to penetrate. Okay, so now I'm gonna put one of these in and see if it works. It's kinda of big. It's hard to shove it in. So let me try to work it in slowly. Okay, it did. Just popped it in. Okay. Now I have to uh, take my pellet seating tool and pull that in a little bit more past that seal. Okay. Okay, it's not loose. It's very snug inside. Okay, it's very snug fit. Yeah, I'm going to shoot this. Okay, I'm going to shoot this right in, into the uh, soup can thingy, okay? Did I even shot it? Yep, it did. Okay. There we go. You see, it went right through. This one. Okay, you see? So, it depends what you want to do, you see? If you want to shoot soup cans, you don't use the same type of pellets. You use different types of pellets. And that is why pellet is fun. Because you have dome shape, you have um, wad cutters, you have different hollow points, different kind of pellets, right? So with pellets, compatible with this gun, now you have a lot of stuff to experiment. You can even put air gun darts there or whatever. So you have a lot of options right now with this gun and compared to Dan Masson's, okay, Dan Masson's shells, you cannot put a pellet inside these shells. This hole is too small. You, it, it won't work unless you buy the new shells that is for the pellet version of the uh, revolvers. But this one, out of the box, you can already use these shells, which is very good. I think like... Hey, you don't need to do any modification, and these shells will provide you pellet compatibility, which is very nice. Okay, so basically that's it for today, and hope you enjoyed this video, learn something, and maybe have fun with your uh, SAA revolver as well. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!